everybody out there in Wiper Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boos and GS. We got another scorecard reaction for you guys, and you already know what it is. All right, let's dig into it. Tough talk time, guys. Take a knee, take a knee. I want to go over the quality assurance that we do with the GS gang on this channel. I have a Discord where the link to join is down in the description below. In that Discord, I have moderators and I have just day ones who have been here since we first started, okay? Of those people, the way that we do this is you guys make requests, they read the requests, and then they give me stuff that they think will score well on this channel. The reason I do it like that is because my goal in this hip-hop arena is not to shit on anyone's art. Every song and every type of music isn't for everybody. Music is, for the most part, subjective. With that being said, since we've started on this, this, this kick of the last couple days, uh, I've been pumping out a lot of videos quickly, and I haven't been doing the quality check. I've just been plucking ones that you guys have been requesting and digging into them. I probably made it about 30 seconds into this before I realized that I hate this with my whole being. All right? This is not for me. That's not to say that if you enjoy it, that you're a piece of shit. It's just, this is not my style of music. It's too old school and unpolished. It's, it's not the type of stuff that I came up on. It's not the type of stuff that I like, right? But... I decided that I'm still going to do the reaction because it's important for me to communicate that with you guys. The reason that you only see high scoring stuff on my channel is because we do have a process for which songs get selected to come and go on the channel. And uh, to not shit on anybody or shit on the music, but to explain what I don't like about it and how my preference, my bias, and my taste come and kind of like put that all together. Do you know what I'm saying? Like we can have an adult conversation about whether we like something or not without shitting on the artist and the music. Uh, I looked him up. I did my research. He's an OG. The OG should be respected. I know that he paved the way for a lot of up-and-coming artists that you may enjoy. So I'm not trying to shit on someone's legacy either. Respect is due where respect is due. But at the same time, you come to me to keep it real with you. Keep it a buck. This shit was not for me. I only listened to, like, like I said, less than a minute of it. Uh, but we're going to dig into it together. I'll explain what I do like and what I don't like. And you'll understand why if you continue to request stuff like that, it doesn't come on the channel. We have a lot of new subscribers. I feel like it's a good learning experience. Let's hop into it. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Little bell notification guy. We about to hop into this right here. All right, all right. Let's, we can skip to where he starts. Your YouTube.com starting crib session. Up in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria, and back to Black Studios, courtesy of YSGHub.com. Get that out, kid. Let's go in with a crib session with Mo9. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, shout out. First of all, super dope beat to pick. Love the beat. Had high hopes on it right from the start. Casino NDT. Shout out to Black Twang. Shout out to my boys from the SWAT group. Ella Joe. Shout out to Thoroughbreds, let's do this. Uh, yo, it's Moto. Uh, listen, in this rap thing, bound to be the last man standing. Go for bit, but if I fall off, I'll have a good landing. Throw sand in your food if you ever try to crunch me. You got weak lines, but you still want a bungee. So here for, I, I see where we're going with this now. So he's using kind of like an old school punchline flow, which is ironic because the punchline flow is my favorite flow. If you go and watch me rap, you can see me rap on the channel. Go and look at my like, uh, just a reactor volume one. It's my pinned video. If you go to my page, the punchline flow is what I use, but it's definitely an old school variant of it, right? And it comes off as cheesy to me. Like it's cringy almost like to me, like, throw sand in your food if you ever try to crunch me that doesn't make any sense that it's 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 weird the bungee line you got weak lines but you're still trying to bungee what does that mean what is you trying to bungee mean like i get it weak lines so you don't want to bungee rope because it'll jump but there's no it doesn't make sense like i've never tried to bungee someone do you understand what i'm saying like it's 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 but in the old school like if this came out like he did a song with cannabis Back, you know what I'm saying? Like way back when, he's an old school rapper. That might have been super hot 30 years ago. And then for me, I was just this. I, I was just checking out of this. Sound real heads are feeling. I'm so on the ground. Crude oil leaks from my ceiling. I like it. I like the line. So on the ground. Crude oil leaks from my ceiling. That's dope. I don't like his voice in fluctuation. Well, he sounds like he's smiling. Like I don't know, like for a punchline rapper, for, for that, I like the gritty, the street stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Listen to like how his voice goes up on the punchline. It doesn't have that rah, rah to it. That's the shit that we like. And again, I'm not even saying there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not what I like. It's not what scores well on the channel, which is why I avoid stuff like this. Sound. Real heads are feeling. I'm so on the ground. Crude oil leaks from my ceiling. Why leaks from my ceiling? Like it's just that's the I don't like it. It's just not for me. You're dealing with the offer top of Mike Blesser. Freestyling more than generous hairdressers. Uh. You get a freestyling like generous hairdressers again. Not a bad bar. His pen's not terrible. That was the first one that really like started like connecting like that. But it's the delivery. He sounds like your uncle that's drunk freestyling at a barbecue. That that's what this is to me. It sounds like your uncle drunk freestyling at a barbecue. Which then it's super fucking hot. But like on this channel, we're comparing this to the other songs that are super polished, and it's like it's not fair to score something like this that that sounds like an off the top freestyle with records that are fully studio edited and you know what i mean like it, it, the, the scoring is not going to be the same it's phony at that point if you have someone reacting to this and they're geeking out and they're loving it and they're also geeking out and loving the polished studio stuff the same way they're being fake and they're being phony and you can you can screenshot this and send it to them and tell them i said it i don't care this is why i separate myself from them like this is not good in comparison to that stuff when you're talking about the realm of overall hip-hop me long like Syria, born in UK but still rap Nigeria. Cipher with the real to make the rescue like firemen. Toss through the game harder than did explain it. Hangman, I'm ruthless like Bibles without the eighth book. Shaking no hands, but you can walk away feeling shook. I'm off the hook like. Really? Like, like that's not good. Ruthless <laughs> like Bibles without the eighth book. Shaking no hands, but you can walk away feeling shook. I'm shaking no hands, but you can walk away feeling shook. Like, I'm off the hook like wax singers on the chorus. You clones bore us. Hey, what's up with the buck? You ain't DMX, you wussies are afraid of the dark. When I rap, I drop jaws like I kill the giant shark. Put my hand in your. It's so cringy. It's cringy. I drop jaws like I kill the giant shark. This is. This is not for me. I'm not gonna keep pausing it after every line. And explain to you guys why I don't like the cheesy punchlines. I just am trying to make an example. And he's doing it for me. Like, this is just not for me. So let's keep going. I'll point out the stuff. From this point forward, I'm, I know. Steve, you're a hater. Oh, my God. Respect the OGs. I can see the comments right now. That's fine. It's, it's not It's not for everybody. You feel me? From this point forward, I'll point out the stuff that I do like. I'm not going to sit here and keep hating for four minutes. I was just trying to make my point of the stuff that I didn't like. Left side, rip out the vital part, approach your man, palm out, stretch, tell him to take heart, mode nine, baby, one time, yeah, it's mode, mm, yo, yo, they like, modo, what is happening, this is rapping, that's what's happening, <laughs> I abide by the code of, hammer rabbi, scribbling rhymes in Akkadian, an eye for an eye, Babylon laws, be careful not to cipher with the bad guy, a multiply, move like the Anunnaki, I'm cocky, Coming around your girl like porno bukakis The black knocky make a sucky ducky back wheeling Red bone turning blue must be the black feeling Slash superhuman sexual healing Without the white coat, clipboard, stethoscope Without having to swear this Hippocratic oath I'm goat, you scapegoat Azazu, smack letters on your beef and put it in my bagel Bad man is eating Don't request this shit for me no more, please. With my elbows on the table, I'm a problem with the lethal rhymes. Go search beyond the equal sign if you're looking for answers and free your mind. Cause nobody beat the nine, told him rebel with a midsword. Got in my reputation with a shield gun and pitchfork. Play with a rubber green's fifth floor, sixth floor. Darth Vader with the mic laser. Pythagorean, Galilean, the stargazer. Bar razor, put two in your pink vest. Great minds converge. I like that, okay. He, he started hitting a pocket here. You know what? To me, this looks like at this point he's no longer freestyling. This sounds like they, this might have been this might have been like slipping into his 16 that he had in his back pocket. Because the syllable matchups were a lot better. The flow was a lot cleaner right here. This was better than the rest of the shit. He should have started here. I did my reputation with a shield gun and pitchfork.
Play with a rubber green fifth floor, sixth floor, Darth Vader with the mic laser, Pythagorean, Galilean, the stargazer, bar razor, put two in your pink vest, great minds converge. See, like that was harder than the rest of it, but like it, it did, it did seem like that seemed more written, seemed more polished, which is what we're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Setting off the think fest mode, mark and bits. Too much to ingest. You on level one, we done saving the princess. Hit you in your tin chest, kick you in your private region. Don't romp with the legendary rhyme legion. A group of super soldiers ready to attack. Lift you in the poisonous box like Schrodinger's cat. Uh, all you ever do is. Nothing about Schrodinger's box, Schrodinger's cat. The box it was in was poisonous. I don't understand that rhyme. Don't say private region to me, my guy. To attack, lift you in the poisonous box like Schrodinger's cat. Uh. All you ever do is brag and boast that I'm better than you. I sever crews and it's true that I'm better than you. I take them to school since they got nothing better to do than this size. Every little thing that I do, I speak for the few who dig in me, feeling the passion, skills inborn. Contender to Mike Attacker, assassin, and everybody knows I have to smash him. Motherfuckers, they know that. Can I curse in this rhyme? And if I can curse in this rhyme, it means I got many other rhymes. I See, I really think this is an off the top freestyle. Like, you can't compare, like, it's not fair. It's not, like, it's just going to lead to me shitting on someone for no reason. Like, if I'm comparing this to other off the top freestyles, it's different. You can't compare an off the top freestyle to Polish Studio stuff. It's, it's, it's fucked up. Like, it's not cool. And it's just like, that's clearly what this is. Flipped out of the scene and did what I had to do. I got Tim Westwood, the rest could try to rap like Mode 9, but they can't. They can't disc like him, DJ like him, spin, take you back to the 80s. These guys were babies when he was doing it. You guys be acting like ladies, and ladies be acting like men. Where you come around, you're messing with Mode 9, you need a gem. <laughs> Try to power up to me, the M-O-D-E, bad MC, from the new school, old school, any school, true school, who school, better than mode school, nobody, you're an old fool, ha, and I'm the principal, the rector, kick you in your rectum, ha, the resurrector, bringing back the Wu-Tang Clan, 5 milli, CD, that's how much they sell it, I'm selling mine for 10, and if you bid below that, I will smack you in the face, you're a hand. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing at this point. Let's go to the school card. Let's break it down. I don't give a fuck if you guys get mad about this. Suck a dick. This shit was not good. Uh, no, I dislike. I dislike this artist. This is not for me. I'm not a fan. Target audience for this? No. I'm not a target audience for this. Proper setting for this? I'm not watching this again. Alright, so here's why this is important. This is our biased region up top, right? I'm telling you, I am biased. I dislike this. This is not for me. Am I the target audience for this? No. I acknowledge that this is not for me. So you should not be coming to me for my opinion on this. Because I am not the one that this was made for. This is like if I were to review mumble rap. There's millions of people out there that enjoy mumble rap. It's going to score low on my channel because I am biased and I don't like it. I don't like this. Bars or lyrics? I'm giving them a 10. I'm giving them a 10 out of 25. The delivery. I'm giving them a 10. 10 out of 25. The beat selection was 15 out of 15. It was an excellent beat. It's actually an excellent freestyle beat too. There's nothing super complicated. There's no curveballs. People are familiar with it. It was a good beat. Uh, sound quality, mixing. It's a, again, like how it's a live freestyle. It's not going to... It's fucking 8... I'll give it an 8 out of 15. Effectiveness, 0. This did not make me want to... I do not want to do any more from mode 9. Enjoyability. I'll give it a 3. A 3 is objectively bad. Bad quality or mixing or writing with no updates. This is a 46 out of 100. That's my score. I'm willing to have an open dialogue. I don't care if you guys are mad. We can talk hip-hop all the time. Keep it respectful in the comments. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Let's go. Shout out to Blue Jay.